Bonjour, aujourd'hui je vais vous présenter euh, le making of de notre euh, fashion film Beyond Good and Evil. On a travaillé avec des danseuses du Palais Royal Flamand qui nous ont prêté leur beauté pour incarner les personnages principaux de notre film fashion. Euh, le thème que je voulais aborder ici en tant que directrice artistique et en tant que bijoutière, c'était euh, de créer trois archétypes en fait. Donc j'ai eu trois visions différentes avec des personnages différents qui étaient chacune euh, un aspect de la, de la psyché humaine, à savoir la créativité, l'inhibition et la violence. Je me suis rendu compte pendant le processus de tournage ou juste avant qu'en fait ce, ce grand triangle sacré ressemblait très très fort au triangle dramatique en psychologie. Donc j'étais assez, <rire> assez euh, je dirais, abasourdie par cette découverte, comme quoi les formes émergentes dans l'art c'est pas rien. Et, euh, et donc j'ai réfléchi, je me suis dit ok on a envie de parler des, des, des trois archétypes, ils ont chacun leur identité euh, visuelle. Comment est-ce qu'on va pouvoir proposer d'aller au-delà du bien et du mal, d'aller dans l'intégration de ces trois différents aspects Parce qu'on est tous un peu bourreaux, un peu sauveurs, un peu victimes. Et, euh, et je pense que ce qui est vraiment important c'est de pouvoir intégrer ces énergies-là et, et les fusionner. Donc mon message c'était ça, comment rendre cette narration à l'image La danse m'est apparue comme une évidence. Je me suis dit en bougeant son corps, en intégrant ces trois personnages les uns aux autres, on peut avancer, on peut créer une narration qui fonctionne. Donc j'ai commencé à chercher autour de moi après des, des chorégraphes et des danseurs qui pourraient euh, je dirais porter le projet. Et j'ai cherché aussi de quoi euh, nourrir leur imaginaire. Donc j'ai regardé euh, le Dracula de Francisco Ford Coppola. Je ne sais pas si vous vous rappelez, mais il y a une, euh, une fusion des, des succubes, des épouses de Dracula à un moment par une danse incroyable qui avait été faite euh, sans CGI à l'époque. Donc c'était vraiment très très pertinent au niveau de la danse. Et j'ai envoyé tout mon tableau d'inspiration à une, euh, une chorégraphe et une danseuse exceptionnelle qui s'appelle Nicolas M. Wills, euh, qui a dirigé le, progrès, le projet d'un point de vue chorégraphique. Et, euh, et qui m'a aussi proposé de pouvoir travailler avec ses, ses collègues euh, qui sont toutes des, des nanas incroyables avec une carrière internationale. On a Zoé qui est, euh, qui est américaine, on a euh, Nisha qui est thaïlandaise et bien sûr Nicolas qui a, qui a porté le projet avec la chorégraphie et la coordination de l'équipe danse sur Anvers. Donc euh, voilà, j'espère que vous vous amuserez bien avec nous et que vous découvrirez euh, avec autant de bonheur que nous le, le travail qu'elles ont mis sur pied. Bonne vision Hi, I'm Nicola. I'm from Adelaide, Australia, and I've been now dancing in Belgium for eight years, uh, since 2013. I first grew up in Adelaide where I studied dance uh, from the age of three until I was uh, 18. Uh, I finished high school and I got a traineeship with Queensland Ballet. Um, after a two-year traineeship with Queensland Ballet, I moved to a small company in Germany and about six months later I got a job in the Royal Ballet of Flanders, which was one of my top three dream companies, so it was like a dream come true. Um, so I've been working with the company for a long time now and got, uh, have experienced a lot of different repertoire and gotten to work with some really great people. And I was contacted through Instagram by Louise to contribute to this project as a dancer and a choreographer. So I worked with the girls on exploring the three different archetypes of personality and femininity um, through this project, which was really nice to uh, look at what contributes to being a full person, these different aspects of humanity. So I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Hello, my name is Zoe. I'm originally from Georgia in the States. I started dancing when I was four and I grew up doing like competition dance. Um, and then when I finished high school, I really didn't want to do anything else. So I auditioned for a bunch of colleges in the States that uh, focus on dance. And I ended up getting into this really famous school in New York and I moved to New York and it was like my mind exploded about what the arts were and what dance could be and uh, all of that stuff and there at that school it's really popular for your last year you go to Europe and you do a Europe tour and you audition a bunch of places and I came one of the places I came was to Belgium and I actually had no idea that the company was uh, more classical. It's not super classical, but it was more classical than I'd ever worked. And um, I just kind of showed up and then in my audition was like, oh, I don't think that this is gonna, they're not gonna hire me because I have no idea what I'm doing here. And then like a month later I was in school and I got an email being like, can you start next month? Um, and I was like, no, I have to finish school, but I'll move in August. And yeah, I moved here like a year and a half ago and my mind is 
blown up again, you know, just being in a completely different place than you grow up and than you think you'll ever be. I don't know if I ever saw myself doing anything like this, but uh, yeah. And then I was actually in California working with a friend from school on making a dance film and then Nicola texted me and was like, hey, I'm gonna be doing a jewelry shoot. Do you wanna come on to it? And I was like, of course, because especially right now with COVID and everything, it's a lot more free time. And one of the beautiful things about it is that a lot more projects because people are hungry to make things and you have to be more innovative with how you make things. Um, I've gotten to do a lot of things that I wouldn't have been able to do. So that's one of the few silver linings of this pandemic. But yeah, so I'm really excited to be here. Hi, I'm Nisha. I'm from Bangkok, Thailand. And um, okay, so first I studied um, ballet when I was five because my mom told me that I had bad posture. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take this instead of Thai dance. And then um, I only did ballet because of exam, really. Um, not, I didn't really think about being a professional because there was no one um, no one in Thailand that could reach to like a um, professional dancer and there was no dance companies in Thailand so I really could not see my future as a dancer and um, so I just kept dancing until 17 and there was one guy from China but then he was in America for a while then he just came to my ballet school and then he told me, um, yeah, if you want to be a dancer, then you have to leave Thailand. Like you can't stay here anymore, you have to go. So I didn't finish my high school. I just left when I was 17 to England because I got, a, I got accepted in um, English National Ballet School in London. And I was there for three years. And and then um, <laughs> I did um, the audition around Europe. Maybe 10 companies, you know, and some places they just cut me from like dancing only 30 minutes. Like after you fly, you stay there one night, you dance 30 minutes and then he said, thank you for coming. <laughs> like this, so many places. But in one place I, uh, I went, it was Munich in Germany, and um, he offered me a job. So I was there for six years. It's a classical company. I was dancing in line so <laughs> for, for a while. Yeah. Then I was like, okay, done. I wanted to do more modern uh, contemporary. I don't want to be like in line anymore doing swan leg. So I just left and then I came here to Antwerp um, Ballet Flanders. Yes. And <laughs> it's been four years. I think this is my fourth season. Yeah. And I really like it. Yeah. It's really different style and nice people, nice colleagues. Alors, vous aimez ce que vous avez vu? Eh bien, jouez le jeu de l'algorithme avec nous. Vous pouvez cliquer, vous abonner, nous suivre sur euh, Insta, sur YouTube, évidemment sur mon site louiscopiche.com. Et aujourd'hui, j'ai la grande, grande chance d'être accueillie par mon ami euh, de l'atelier de l'Ange d'Or, qui possède cette magnifique boutique autour de nous, et qui euh, m'a prêté les magnifiques vêtements que je porte, et qui ont été sélectionnés par euh, la superbe Antoinette de révéler votre potentiel, grâce à qui je ressemble à une petite lumière. Donc, euh, merci à Margot et à la technique, prenez soin de vous, et euh, n'oubliez pas d'être heureux. Merci.